Greetings from Sunwing Macriellos. I have arrived today, 20th of April 2023. It's uh, 6 40 pm local time, and we are going for a swim in the Mediterranean Sea. Splendid. Marvelous. It's gonna be nice. Indeed. This is a nice resort. Located on the southeast part of Creta, Crete, which is the fifth largest island in the Mediterranean. Yes, fifth. The biggest one is Sicily, followed by Sardinia, then Cyprus, Corsica, and Port Place, and Crete is number five. So let's go to the beach. It's actually the beginning of the tourist season here in Crete, so that's why not so many people. And temperature-wise, it's around 20 degrees Celsius, the maximum one. The minimum one during the night goes around minimum of 13 degrees. Okay, where do I enter the beach? I'm not sure. Let me find a way, but I can see and feel the... I think I know where it is. It's perfect day. I really have no idea how to get on the beach, but I'm gonna find it. Yes, there it is. Of course. Look at the sea. Absolutely amazing. Yes, eight days of sea fun and exploring the Mediterranean Sea and the island of Crete. Focus will be only on this south part, southeast part, but Crete is a very big island and it will be another time that I will go on the west side. Mm -hmm. 
time for a spin. I think I'm gonna be the only one. But I'm coming from Sweden with a streak of 11 beach days. So this is gonna be super easy one because Mediterranean Sea is definitely a lot warmer than the lakes I have been into in Papua. So let's explore the sea. Huh? Super nice. a bit more because I think there is another beach on the other side so let's see what we have before we go in the sun will set down in one hour so we have plenty of time for the swim today oh that lovely fresh sea air it's amazing all right I think I saw the actual beach of my resort on the other side. I think actually, I think that one is a different one over there from our sister hotel, Ocean Beach Club. But I really love this path that they made. It's very nice. Yes, the beach that we are going in today is called Galufa Beach based on Google Maps. So yeah. Look at the sea. Very nice. This was the path I should have taken. I don't know why. I made a whole circle. And now actually we are at the right beach for the first time. So this was my intended plan. But I'm not gonna count like beach day 12 because that is only for my Sweden beach adventure 2023. Now I'm in Greece and this is just another tropical adventure. But I know that I'm going to be swimming here all of my eight days. So this is beach day number one for my Crete adventure 2023. And it's amazing. from Lagufa Beach, located in Makrigielos, small village in south eastern part of Greece, Greece. And I switched from the north cold Sweden to slightly warmer Greece, but the Mediterranean Sea is, of course, a lot warmer than the lakes I have been swimming in. And I'm gonna be in the water here all day long, definitely. Believe me. 
We are approaching sunset, so it will be a perfect sunset swim. We have one hour left of sunshine. Enjoy this wonderful view. All right, for today's challenge, we're gonna run right into the water without any hesitation. This is something that I couldn't do in Sweden in the past 11 days, but Mediterranean Sea is a lot warmer and let's sprint into the water. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go! <laughs> Okay, I just want to check if there are both of but everything pretty much needs to stand. So, okay, it's a bit more shallow than I thought, but Oh my god, it's so warm in the water. <laughs> wow. You can't believe how warm it's in the water. I wonder why nobody is in the water. The Mediterranean Sea is amazing. I think. If my feeling is correct, it should be around 16 degrees Celsius in the water, which is <laughs> at least the double of the temperature that I was dipping in yesterday, the day before, if not triple. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. One more! The sea, the Mediterranean Sea, the salt water is so cold. So basically, I'm gonna be all day in the water in the upcoming eight days as much as I can because this is a blessing. Woo! <laughs> The wave. There's another one. Amazing. Marvelous. So my first attempt to spring into the sea was pretty much unsuccessful. I would rate it like 2 out of 10 because I was a bit hesitant if there were stones or something else in the water. But now I know that it is sand only, pure white sand. So we're gonna have second attempt and I'm gonna let you rate the sprint into the water. Are you ready? On your marks. Set. Okay, it was not perfect, but much better than the first one. And I'm gonna keep improving because I'm always reaching continuous improvement and uh, I won't improve myself in everything that I do. So, 
Yes, there was a nice print in the water. Second one for today. <laughs> Even though it's almost sunset. But I had like a very long traveling day. I got up at 2 a.m. to catch my morning flight. The flight was delayed for one and a half hours. And then when we landed in Heraklion airport, Heraklion is the capital city of the island, there were some technical issues or some delays with the luggage. The luggages, so there was a further one hour delay, but we made it safe. And I'm gonna be here for eight days in total. So this is the first day. Seven days more of beach adventures here in Crete, actually on the southeastern part of Crete. So basically, I'm gonna be in the water all day long. And I'm going to do some activities as well. Maybe rent a bike, run also. And it will be also filmed on my GoPro. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You won't miss a thing. Let me know if you have some suggestions on what kind of videos should I make, what should I focus on, or if you want to know any more facts about Crete. I will be able to provide you some interesting ones. Enough about my chit chat. I'm gonna enjoy some more here in the water and then I'm gonna go out for dinner and have some gyros or souplaki. Let's see what they have here in this small village of Makrigelos. Actually, it's uh, pronounced like the yellows in Greek. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow with some more action. Bye.